so we're just going to do our stop here at what we call the first floor, the ground floor. The first floor all the way down to the far end and around the corner. They should have got a 12 foot roof in the park. Her husband has also put his own second home apartment. Well, let me say that she shares her 12 foot apartment with her husband. And it's 12 rooms at the 775 room. And her husband, we also have their staff. The royal household were always asked how many people were at Buckingham Palace, and the answer is about half. No, they need six hundred. <laughs> and some of them will have will have apartments here as well. And then they have their own post office, their own cinema, their own what else? Cafeteria, and they even can use a swimming pool. It's all here in the East Wing. And the Queen has got the same problem as everybody else in this country. Their kids won't move out. So she's got <laughs> Prince Andrew, oh gone my. back to being known as Randy Andy, because oh of what's been going on. And also he's the youngest son, Edward, his wife and their two children. That's Queen, Queen Victoria, who was the first monarch. You can't see her, she's just round the corner. But there is a, there is a statue of Queen Victoria. One of three thousand a wave to save her life. That's a, a standard to slip slipping. But anyway, uh, people stop by to say hello. I don't, you know, my favourite was the guy who landed on, on a hang glider on, on the roof a few years ago. And when we're told they went to arrest him, he threw off his clothes and parts of his anatomy were painted green. They never tell us which bits. So, and the famous one was the guy, Michael Fagan, who in 1981 got in into the grounds as he had been doing on a regular basis. He'd been Voglio girare che c'è lì. Over to, the, over to the right you see 
you see the church itself. As we see it today, the dates to try and remember, 12.445 to about 1500. It's going to be Isaac Newton and, and the other one is Hawking. Stephen Hawking has been there for just over a year. And also in the House of Parliament. And everybody calls that thing that's swathed in scaffolding Big Ben. But Big Ben is actually the, the fall into bits and there's all kind of and he was the longest serving member of parliament in the 20th century that's not the only reason why he got himself a statue um, he was the great wartime leader and he lay in state mr abbey he took that chance to be buried there he said there were people in there he wouldn't get drunk with let's let me bury the side so he's buried at a place called bladen in oxfordshire which is just outside the palace of Blenheim, where he was born churchill Cyclist has just gone through a red line. Oh, he's never seen that. Oh, he's there. He's not there today. It's usually there's usually just one there. So the horses arrive at 10 o'clock. What are they? The combined the, the Spanish, Spanish fleet of Napoleon Bonaparte had 34. And the Royal Navy lost no no ships in, in the National Gallery. Is, is the collection as good as the one in the Louvre? Well, what you want to see really is, it's a magnificent, magnificent collection. And who cares anyway, it's the biggest pickup children like there was no tomorrow. I think the figure is, I think somebody told me the other day, was 16 Ill illegitimate children were at his beck, beck and call. Two and a half million pounds, which was an absolutely enormous figure. He would not have been a member of the Athenaeum Club, which is here with that glorious golden statue.